Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to display character on dot matrix display using array. In today video I will show you how to display data string on dot matrix display. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Project how to display data string on dot matrix display in this project we will display data string on dot matrix display we will interface the dot matrix display with pic 16 f877 microcontroller rows are connected with port c and columns are connected with port d of a pic 16 f877 microcontroller and the microcontroller is operated from an 8 megahertz crystal we are using uln 2803 ic with rows because microcontroller cannot provide enough current for operating 64 LEDs of dot matrix display. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Port C is interfaced with dot matrix displays rows through ULN 2803 IC because microcontroller cannot provide enough current for operating 64 LEDs. Port D is interfaced with dot matrix displays columns through current limiting resistors. And the value of resistor are 100 ohm. Pin numbers 13 and 14 are the interface with an 8 MHz crystal and 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Here is dot matrix display. We are using 8x8 8 8 dot matrix display. Let draw this circuit in Proteus.
I used these pull-up resistors, because in Proteus ULN2803 was not working without these resistors. But in practical you don't need these pull-up resistors. The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC. Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. I will copy the code. And I will pass it here. Now I will define you the code. Hashtag define row port C. Define port C as row. Rows are connected with port C. Hashtag define col port D. Define port D as col. Columns are connected with port D. Unsigned char. Row data 78. This line define data type char. Array named row data. And it has total 78 elements. 0x3f, 0x48, 0x88, 0x48, 0x3f, 0x00, this is code for alphabetic character A. 0xff, 0x91, 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 0x6e, 0x00, this is code for alphabetic character B. 0x7e, 0x81, 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 0x42, 0x00, this is code for alphabetic character C. This is code for alphabetic character D. This is code for alphabetic character E. This is code for alphabetic character F. This is code for alphabetic character G. This is code for alphabetic character H. This is code for alphabetic character I. This is code for alphabetic character J. This is code for alphabetic character K. This is code for alphabetic character L. This is code for alphabetic character M. Unsigned char. COL data 6. This line defined data type char. Array named COL data. And it has total 6 elements. 0x80, 0x40, 0x20, 0x10, 0x08, 0x00. Unsigned char. R data, C data. Next. Define variable. Unsigned int del. Void ms delay. Here is function of delay. Unsigned char. Y, Z. Define variable named Y and Z. For loop. Y equals 0. Y less than 10. And increment Y. For loop for delay. Z equals 0. Z less than 50. And increment Z. For loop for delay. Void main. Main function. Main code start from here. TRISC equals 0x00. Set port C as output port. TRISD equals 0x00. Set port D as output port. Next equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. Del equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. While 1. Endless loop. It will repeat code again and again. R data equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. C data equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. For next equals 0. Next less than 78. Next plus equals 6. This for loop increment the next with 6 step. First its value is 0, in next step it value will be 6, because next character is at 6, elements of row data array. 
we are using this for loop for displaying the next characters. R data equals next. R data is equal to next. C data equals zero. For del equals zero. Del less than 400. Del plus plus. This for loop decide, how long do we want to show one character on dot matrix display. If C data equals equals 5. C data equals 0. It is column data. If C data reach at 5 then set C data equals 0. If R data equals equals 5. R data equals 0. It is row data. If R data reach at 5 then set R data equals 0. If R data equals equals 11. R data equals 6. If R data reach at 11 then set R data equals 6. If R data equals equals 17. R data equals 12. It is row data. If R data reach at 17 then set R data equals 12. If R data equals equals 23. R data equals 18. If R data reach at 23 then set R data equals 18. If R data equals equals 29. R data equals 24. If R data reach at 29 then set R data equals 24. If R data equals equals 35. R data equals 35. If R data reach at 35 then set R data equals 30. If R data equals equals 41. R data equals 36. If R data reach at 41 then set R data equals 36. If R data equals equals 47. R data equals 42. If R data reach at 47 then set R data equals 42. If R data equals equals 53. R data equals 48. If R data reach at 53 then set R data equals 48. If R data equals equals 59. R data equals 54. If R data reach at 59 then set R data equals 54. If R data equals equals 65. R data equals 60. If R data reach at 65 then set R data equals 60. If R data equals equals 71. R data equals 66. If R data reach at 71 then set R data equals 66. If R data equals equals 77. R data equals 72. If R data reach at 77 then set R data equals 72. COL equals COL data. C data. This line find the COL data from array and send that code to COL. COL is interfaced with dot matrix's columns pins. The initial value of C data is 0. So array send first code to COL. Row equals row data. R data. This line find the row data from array. And send that code to row. Row is interfaced with dot matrix's rows pins. The initial value of R data is 0. So array send first code to row. The first character A. Is start from 0 and it will finish at 5. As you can see in row array. MS delay. Call delay. R data. Plus plus. Increment R data. C data. Plus plus. Increment C data. Now the value of C data is 1. COL equals COL data. C data. This line find the COL data from array and send that code to COL. COL. Now the value of R data is 1. Row equals row data. R data. This line find the row data from array. And send that code to row. And again call. MS delay. R data. Plus plus. Increment R data. C data. Plus plus. Increment C data. Now the value of C data. And. R data is 2. Now this find third code and send that data to rows and columns. And again call. MS delay. Increment R data. Increment C data. When C data reach at 5. This if statement set it value at 0. 
end. When our data reach at 5. This if statement set it value at 0. Del for loop repeat this code 400 times. After exit from this for loop. The next for loop increase the next variable. Now the value of next is 6. Our data equals next. Now our data is equal to 6. Because next character is at 6, elements of row data array. C data equals 0. C data is equal to 0. Now again del for loop will repeat 400 times. If C data equals equals 5. C data equals 0. It is column data. Because the value of our data is 6. Now this if statement will execute. COL equals COL data. C data. Find the COL data from array. Now the value of C data is 0. And send that code to COL. Row equals row data. Our data. Find the row data from array. Now the value of our data is 6. Character B is start from 6. And send that code to row. And step by step it will send all code to dot matrix display. This process repeat again and again. And complete data string will show on dot matrix display. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. You can see dot matrix display show complete data string one by one on it. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And keep watching Star Technology 5G.